Quote, Rendezvous with Rama is the first contact narrative describing humanity's response to the perhaps inexplicable intrusion into our solar system of a vast interstellar craft whose mission is unknown and perhaps unknowable. Unquote. Those were the words of author and sci-fi critic Jean Clute, who wrote the introduction to this fully society edition of Rendezvous with Rama, the science fiction novel written by Arthur C. Clarke in 1973. Rendezvous with Rama is the second Arthur C. Clarke edition published by the Fogel Society, and this time it is illustrated by the award-winning illustrator, author and animator Matt Griffin. The book is bound in printed and blocked cloth with a design by Griffin and it includes six illustrations including the black and white from this piece. The edition is printed and bound in Italy and it is printed on acid-free pH neutral Abbey Woe paper. The paper is standard to most folio editions and it is a warm and cream coloured paper of decent thickness. The text size is rather large and the book is of course Smithsonian and the illustrations are printed on textured art paper. Here you can see this new edition compared to 2001 A Space Odyssey. They both have the same dimensions and the same flat spine, although the spine design do differ, as does the full society logo. The interior is also similar except for the frontispiece layout, but you can tell that they are not part of a specific set or series. I really like what Foolish Society did with this edition and I'm quite excited to read it. Matt Griffin's art is very powerful with all its colors and grand settings and I hope you will enjoy the rest of Griffin's artwork in this edition.
And that was my presentation of Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see with the comparison with 2001 A Space Odyssey, also published by the Foley Society, they are have the same size, the same flat spine. The paper is, um, I think, exactly the same. Both have a heavy, heavy wool paper, but uh, the spine differs a bit. Uh, they decided to change the logo. Yeah, but uh, they are not in a matching set, but they do match on the shelf. So that's at least that's good. We have seen some night nightmare <laughs> examples before of Full Society and other publishers just deciding to change everything um, within within an author uh, when they could have do a matching matching set, a matching pair of books. But that's fine. I hope <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.